Welcome to the 15th tutorial on Hammer Editor. Um, we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to go over installing custom content. What I have here are textures for the real world texture pack. I have downloaded it. You can download it right there and save to my desktop. And I've also downloaded the high res house textures. I'm going to show you how to install these because some people don't quite know how and clear that up today. So you'll get this file on your desktop, usually a zipper, 70 or an RAR. To unzip these, I would advise getting 7-zip or when RAR. I'll put a link to 7-zip in the sidebar. But then you open it and you'll see a folder inside. You usually want to just extract that to your desktop and you'll see it's extracting everything. And then it will copy. And now we have it on our desktop right here. And for this one, it has subdirectories in each file. So what we need to do for here is find out where this needs to be placed. So go for the closest one because this tells us where it needs to go. And we open up the VMT and we see it goes in textures, real world textures slash glass. So we know slash glass is this material right here. So it just has to stay in a real world textures folder. And for these ones, for this glass material, it says textures, real world textures, slash glass, slash glass 01. And this tells us that it needs to stay in its subdirectory inside of it. So to install this, we go to our Counter-Strike source folder and to C-Strike located at this address here. And go to materials. And then we drag and drop this whole folder inside the materials folder. We'll see a copy. <clears throat> and then it's in there. Now we go to these other textures. Extract those. And now they're right there. We open them up. We check the VMT. And you see this one, the base texture is just ceiling. Because there is no, like if it was temp slash ceiling, this is the folder that it has to stay in, but there's no folder. So it's just ceiling. So to install these, we just go into a materials folder and just drag them there. Now they're in here and you can use them. You just because there's no subdirectory. And now we're also going to go over something a little bit advanced. Um you have to have pack rat for this. We're going to extract a model and materials from a map so we can use it in our map. So if you open up Pack Rat, you find the map, and you'll see over on the side it says material, texture, model. We're going to extract this table model here. So to do this, we have to find what folders do we need to put these in. So we see these need to go into models slash black ops. And if it showed the whole file directory, the file directory right before materials and models here would be C strike. So if we open up our C strike folder and we see we have models, so this needs to go in models black ops. So we go to new folder and we call this black ops. And now we select all of the models slash black ops, click save. You can just save them to your desktop. And now you'll see you have files on your desktop that just got created. You want to move these into the black ops folder. So now the actual model's there. But now the model will show up, but it's all pink and black. So we need to get the textures for this. So we see the models, I mean the textures for it are right here because they're in materials, models, black ops folder. So now we have to go to materials and we have to create a models folder. You might already have one. And then we go in there and we create another folder called black ops. And now we want to save these. Your desktop again is fine. Then we want to drag them in. And now that table will work. It's very important when you install custom content like materials or models, you never ever rename something. Because I have to stay in the same name. If you rename something, you're going to have to change some VMT stuff around. I don't know how to do it for models, 
but if you send me a PM, I can show you how to do it for materials, but it's not recommended to do. After SDK loads, I'll show you that all the textures have been loaded into Counter-Strike. Load a pre-built test box, which I have made. And now we go to browse over here and we'll see we just we already have ceiling floor and wall already in here because those were dropped into the correct directory if if a texture has been dropped into the wrong directory it'll show up as pink and black and for the real world texture since we know they're in real world textures folder you search for real world and then all of our textures are there and now if we create an entity search for prop we want to create a prop static is usually what it's safe to use and now says our model viewer and we want to do a search for table we'll see we have black ops slash table that mdl and there's our model it's just like a cafeteria table and there it is in game and if you do a search for the model, which we have right here, under info, you can see what it's used for. This skin, this model is currently compiled for dynamic prop and static prop. You can also, if you really want, if it's not compiled for it, you can use prop physics override. And what the prop physics override does is it forces the game to use this prop as a physics item. And it will react as a fixed item. It won't be good, but it will react as physics. I hope this tutorial helped you on installing custom content and extracting stuff from maps that you wanted for yours. Just make sure you get the correct permissions to use the stuff in your map. Um, have fun.